are you ready to create an amazing logo for your business, your course, or your offer? Well, if so, today you are in luck. No design experience needed. I am Kathy of Funnel Gorgeous, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process to creating a simple logo for your business, your course, or your offer that turns heads, gets attention, and has an incredible impact on your audience. Let's get started. I have done videos on our channel using Illustrator Photo Photoshop and Canva. My favorite is Illustrator, but we'll go ahead and show you guys how to do Canva today since it's just a little more approachable than, you know, the big guys, the big guns. And so in Canva, there are a lot of templates that you can use for logos. We actually have a whole uh, template that's a logo pack that includes, I think, I don't know, almost 20 something logos in there for that actually go along with our funnel designs. But today I'm going to show you how to do one from scratch. And I'm going to show you a very simple version, a pretty versatile version. Obviously, logos will vary like in complete complexity and layout and style. It's kind of like everything under the sun. And so I'm going to show you today how to do a simple stacked logo with an icon. It's a very simple logo and it's pretty easy to create. The biggest thing is to know is that it is symmetrical. You want it to be even on both sides and it is center justified, meaning like it's everything's aligned along the middle. And so I'm going to go ahead. You can just go to create a design here. It's going to pop up and open your window. And of course, you don't need any templates because we're going to do totally from scratch today. And I'm actually, I'm not even going to use the elements or anything from Canva. I think it, sometimes people can use them as a crutch a little bit. And so I really want to show you guys kind of how to do this from scratch. And so the idea here is I'm going to have two words, gorgeous and boot camp. say it's called that. And then I'm going to add an icon in for that as well. So I'm actually going to start by creating the icon. So it's going to go icon, gorgeous, and then boot camp in the stacked way. But I'm going to start off with the icon just because I feel like it. I feel like it kind of gives it a little bit of a mood and a style to start off with. And I think the icon is one of those things you're probably not going to draw from scratch. Maybe you totally can, but there are tons of free icons out there already. So you kind of don't you know, use use the professional illustrations when you can. One of my favorite resources is Flat Icon. So I went over to Flat Icon. I have, we have an account here. You don't have to have the premium level account. You can just use the free version as well. But I love Flat Icon. I use it all the time. So we have the premium version, but I would search for an icon. So if you're, you know, you think about what your business is about, or your offer. So I'm just going to actually type in gorgeous and but you could type in anything, you know, put in a topic or something like that, anything you want. And so I'm going to put in gorgeous. And so I can see I have lots of different options here. And I'm going to look for something somewhat simple, not too fussy, and just like really like kind of rounded and simple with logos really simple is best. The simpler the lines, the better to be honest, it's not really beauty related. So I don't want it to be too obvious. But you also don't want it too abstract. So it's kind of like this in between place. And so I'm thinking like what represents gorgeous without being like too specific, like showing fingernails or something like that. And I'm really drawn to this little butterfly here because it's super simple, but it looks really abstract and it looks like it could totally be a logo to me already. Right. So this is a really cool thing. So there's a PNG you can download, but it's going to be a raster. So it's going to be in black. Now, if I choose SVG, it's going to download. It's going to ask me to save. So then you just save it to your your desktop or wherever. But the cool thing is when I bring in this SVG file into Canva, it's going to keep it as a vector file. And so I'm going to be able to change the colors. Watch this. So cool. You're going to go to upload your media, grab it wherever it is, wherever it lies. Is you're going to grab that SVG file, bring it in. And then you're going to see it takes a second to upload because it's an SVG. And then you're going to bring it into your layout here. And you're going to see that now it's actually I have the colors here that I can grab. I'm going to grab from our FG brand palette. If you guys don't know what color you want, make sure that you guys go watch our last video where we talked about colors and fonts. And you notice when I drag here, it's keeping my center line and it's kind of like showing me a guide so that you want to stay on the center line the whole entire time. So I'm going to obviously make it smaller and I'm going to go back to that center line because I want to stay there on the center line. And so then I'm going to go gorgeous and then boot camp. You can go in here to your text, just grab any, any heading here. I'm going to have gorgeous as uppercase and you can start to block it in. You can either block it in or start to design at the same time. Like this is already shaping up, right? Like this already almost looks like a logo because I 
picked such a really cool icon. It really brought in that feeling. Of course, this, these are not the, the fonts that I want to use, but they are obviously closer to kind of like, it's kind of like blocking in what I want. And so, so remember, I just keep seeing that the, this center, center, center. And then also you, you are going to want this middle line to be bigger than this line. And it already is, but I'm going to change, I'm going to change up the fonts a little bit too. And I can change the colors around as well. So I'm going to go for like a darker color for this section. Actually, I'm probably going to leave them the same. Actually, I could do something like a little lighter version, or I could do like a pink. And right now, I still haven't chosen my fonts. I'm just kind of looking at the colors, but you could do fonts first. You could do colors first. I'm just choosing to do color first. Maybe like, maybe the little gold. I kind of like that gold there. So now I have to decide on the style because this, these are just the fonts that they gave me. So I really have to decide on the style. Do I want it to be a serif-y, like more traditional classic font, or do I want it to be more modern and a sans serif font, you know, something kind of like newer, like warmer and more friendly. Again, if you guys haven't watched that last video, make sure you watch the last video because we talked about colors and fonts. So I'm going to make it something like more whimsical more with a serif. And so I'm going to start looking at fonts and kind of trying to decide what I want here. And so because I made it an uppercase font, it is going to kind of, you know, change a little bit of my choices. Like I wouldn't want to do use this font and you know, something like that. I actually really like that Poppins. It's like this really right, light and pretty. These are some, some that we've uploaded before, but you can obviously use whatever's in Canva or you can upload them. I kind of like the way that looks already. So really like this is kind of just playing and I, I kind of click off of mine and click back on. I just, I'm kind of looking at it. I'm sort of tilting my head saying, how do I feel about it? What do I think? And I'm like, well, you know, do I want it uppercase or do I want it lowercase? And so you can kind of click back and forth, you know, do I want it uppercase? Do I want it lowercase? I think it's still like it uppercase. I mean, it's just kind of deciding and, and kind of knowing with the style and who you're connecting with. And like really everything we talked about in the last video on who your people are and what's the, what's the voice of it. Do I, do I want it like more bold, kind of thick? You see how I'm kind of like clicking off of it and on and on it. And so it's really just playing, you know, at this point and kind of seeing, you know, maybe I want it to be a little bit more traditional. I kind of like the look at that actually, but now this is starting to feel a little bit dark. And so I'm thinking, oh, maybe a little bit lighter. Yeah. Like a little bit more pastel-y kind of color, something in there, you know, and I'm just starting to feel it like a little bit more, but I'm looking at the space. I'm kind of tilting my head back and forth and I'm looking at the space that it's taking up. So like the negative space, is this equal to this? Is this like close enough? Is this too far away? If it were to kind of be out here, I would look and go, oh, you know, this looks like this is close together, but this is far away. It's like all of a sudden there's like a pause, you know? And so I kind of move it back up and move it around. So, you know, there's not really much to this logo. You can always add in like maybe some lines here or some shapes. But honestly, I think one of the biggest mistakes that people make, especially newbies, is adding too much and going too far. And a lot of times the simplest is the best. And so I have three things here. I have three elements. I have an icon, I have the name, and I have the second part of the name, which is smaller. This could even be an uppercase version. I never do uppercase and italic, so I would have to switch that out to something else. But I could do even something, you know, similar to this one, but just smaller or maybe something like this, you know, could even be like a sans serif or, you know, maybe, maybe it's one of these, but then you pull it down. Oh, I like that. It feels a little too small. So I think I would sort of bump up the spacing a little bit. So it makes a little bit more of a round shape in between, but I like the way that looks. And so you can see, I'm just kind of playing with it. Again, I'm looking at the spaces. I'm looking at all of the, the areas around it, seeing how it feels, seeing like if it feels like it's together. I'm also looking at how is it being read? Do I read the gorgeous first and then the boot camp, or do I see boot camp first and then gorgeous? And because gorgeous is darker, I'm, I'm leaning that way. And so it takes a little practice, but this formula is a really, really easy way to make your own logo totally for free using Canva and flat icons or any free icon thing. And I'm just kind of throwing it in here, throwing in my colors that I've already pre-picked out and pulling it together. And we've created a gorgeous little logo here for gorgeous bootcamp. And a lot of people overthink this, but sometimes it is as simple as that. And there you have it, your step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create your logo for free in Canva. If you love this video, make sure to check out all of our videos and actually check out the playlist that's on your screen right now. I talk about colors, how to choose the fonts for your brand to build consistency and raving fans of your brand. I'll see you over there.